2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Shem. This is why, if you look at that sign, 
If you look at that sign, sister, you know, let me ask you, where's your father? Who's your father? Is your father so-called black, so-called Haitian? So, uh, American blacks? Or Western Caribbean black? Are you a Western this, okay? You will be from the tribe of Benjamin. That's what right. God calls you, all right? God's called you Benjamin. From the tribe of Israel. We're not from him. We are dust skinned people, but we're not from the lineage of him, all right? So, is the, is the, sir, do you have a question? Uh, Adam, Adam, Adam. This, is, is, is this boy has some question because he's been... Yes, you have another question? No, 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 I have another question. Sis. Hey, sis, come here. Hey, bro. Young, young lady. She said she got a lot of questions. All right. Come here, come here. Because you asked a very, very important question. And uh, come here, sis. The sister just asked a question. Come. She asked about Africans, if all black people are Africans. What do you say? Are all black people Africans? In the, the, the so-called continent of Africa, how many countries are there? Where in Africa are you from? You are from Nigeria. Where in Africa are you from? See, that's a problem. Because one person from Africa knows where they're from, and the other doesn't. Right. Right? But does it matter? Because we just read in the Bible, watch this, read it again. Uh, Exodus 11 verse 7, but against the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. God says you shouldn't talk against the children of Israel, right? That's what we read before. The children of Israel, remember that. Then you may know how the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. God puts a difference between Israel and Egyptians. Now, Egyptians right here represents the nation of the, the continent of Africa because they were the superpower at that time. So not because they didn't say Ethiopia, it's talking about Africa when he says Egyptians. What color are Egyptians? What color are Israelites? They're light skinned. Watch this. Can you turn on? Because here's the thing. We are taught something, but is it right or wrong? If we're learning about God and his people, we got to go to this book. What does this book say about Israelites? That's the question. So we're going to clear it up. Bring it up! Jeremiah 13 verse 2. Jeremiah was an Israelite. Judah morning, and the gates thereof language. Now he's speaking about Judah, the head tribe. He said Judah morning, right? Judah is in mourning. They are black. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. They are black unto the ground. What color is Judah? They are black unto the ground. Judah is black. What? Judah is black. Judah was of the 12 tribes, right? What about Solomon. What color was he? He was an Israelite. He was black. But guess what? Remember we read in Exodus where there's a difference between the Israelites and the Africans who are two black people. You understand? So the misconception of them being light-skinned, that's just today. And that's a lie. So how did uh, the fair skin and the dark skin came about? I know one, one group had sin. I don't remember which one. Because some people are of the views that because of sin, that's why we're black. Oh, you know, you know what that is? That is. She said she wants to know the difference. So where did it come from? Because it is said that because because we were cursed, that's why we have that black skin. But guess what? That's a Christian doctrine. More, more than likely, it's the Mormons that brought it out. But I want to show you something what the Bible says. Give me Genesis chapter 2. Bring it up! I want you to pay attention to this, right? Don't worry, sister. I know. It, I know, but I have something to do with my son. He's only visiting. He's not from here. No. Uh, listen, where are you from? Rockland County. Rockland County? Yeah. So he's visiting for today? Yeah. Well, today he's going to learn that the Israelites are black people. Right! That's he's going right. to learn that he's an Israelite. His mom is an Israelite. Where's his father from? His father is white. From where? 
Chicago, he's Jewish and Italian. <laughs> All right, but guess what? This word is still going to go out to him, to you, to everybody. Watch this. Genesis 2 verse 7. And the Lord God for men out of the dust of the ground. What did God make man out of? The dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Black, brown. Guess what? You are correct. So the first man that was created was what color? A black man. According to who? The Bible. Which is God's words. So God made the first man on this earth out of the dust of the ground, which is our complexion. So I'm just, wait. Remember you said the dark skin was taught to you that it was a curse. According to the Bible, the first man was black. That ha could not have been a curse. Because God didn't make mistakes. That's right. He made the first man black. Right. You know why? He said, let us make man in our image. Guess right. what color God is? I said, guess what color God is? I'm asking you, based on what he said, let us make man in our own image. In our likeness. What color is God? Okay. The Bible answers our questions. That's what? He is what? Bring it up. You got Daniel? No, the, the Bible is where salvation lies. Right, read. Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The thrones are the, all the kingdoms that were before and the one to come at this time. Read. And the ancient of days did sit. Ancient of days, that's God, right? He was before days began. Right. Ancient is beyond. Right? Read. Whose garment was white as snow. God had a garment. To have a garment, you gotta put it on a body. So God did have a body. That's right. And his hair of the head, oh, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. God has really hair. Right. What people on this earth have really hair? Black people. Right. God is a black man. Right. And his son, Jesus Christ, also black. And his tribe, black men. You understand, sister? So the Africans, sister, sister. Well, she don't want to be on camera. Sister. Nigeria. Nigeria, correct? The Caribbean. Which part? Alright. That's Ibu, right? Yeah. Ibu tribe? Yoruba. Yoruba. Israelites. Right down there we have Isaiah 11 verse 11. Bring that out. Isaiah verse 11, chapter 11 verse 11. Israelites, we were scattered all over. That's right. That's right. Through the transatlantic slave trade and the sub saharan slave trade. Right. Sister, it's more important than you think. Read. Isaiah 11, 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. He needs to recover the remnant of his people because they don't know who they are. His people don't know that they're the Israelites. That's right. We shall be left from Assyria. They were left in Assyria. We had, we were in slavery in Assyria. Read. And from Egypt. Egypt. Did we work the Israelites in slavery in Egypt for 400 years? They were left. Some were left there. He's got to recover them. And from Paphos. And from Cush. And from Elam. See how many African nations Israelites are? And Elam. That's the East Indians. We have people there. You understand? Ethiopia. And from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Sister, do you understand that you're a part of the greatest nation on earth? Yeah. You do? Yeah. That means you've got to be doing the culture of the greatest people. That's Give me right. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Bring it up. I know Bring you do, but you're still standing because there's a word that you've got to hear. The culture of the Israelites for the Israelite woman and man. Watch. Deuteronomy 22. 
22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Women and clothing. What woman, what clothing is for women? What's the opposite of a dress? Thank you. Read this again. The woman shall not wear that. God said you should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That which belongs to men. What's that? Pants. So that's the culture of Israelites. That's right. And watch this. What about the men? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. God sees it filthy and disgusting for you to have on pants. Sister, sister, you've got to change. Because you know who you are, now you've got to change. Right. we got to start dressing like Europeans. Women wearing pants is a European custom that we follow because the white woman did it. The dress is our culture. That's what the women need to wear. You understand? So this following of the European culture, because we're in captivity on the Europeans, we got to stop. We got to find our own culture and keep it and teach it because it's pleasing to God. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.